Hello, I'm Dr. Mark Gittleman from Optimal Health Miami, and today I will be discussing the importance of vitamin D. It's estimated that up to 85% of the U.S. population is deficient in this critical nutrient that is extremely important to one's overall health. Vitamin D is not a vitamin, but it's actually a pro-hormone, meaning a precursor hormone of another hormone for our bodies. Vitamin D is critical in our body for bone health, and it's vital for normal functioning of the nervous system, as well as for bone growth and maintenance of bone density. Vitamin D is essential for calcium balance and the efficient utilization of calcium for the entire body. Adequate vitamin D levels are needed for optimum cardiovascular function. Vitamin D may also be important for maintaining blood pressure within normal ranges. Vitamin D also impacts heart health by supporting the body's natural cytokine production and vascular function. And healthy cell growth throughout all the cells in the body is promoted by vitamin D. Although it's not the first thing you think of, vitamin D is important in the health maintenance of our immune system. So how exactly do we get our vitamin D? D3 is a fat-soluble vitamin which can be synthesized by humans in the skin upon exposure to ultraviolet light. That is, really sunlight has ultraviolet radiation, and that's where we get some of our vitamin D. While many foods have vitamin D as a supplement, it's not the same vitamin D3 that our bodies actually need. Therefore, for many of us who don't have a lot of sun exposure or who use a sunblock, we're really vulnerable to a vitamin D deficiency. Ironically, this deficiency is particularly common in Florida, our sunshine state. But it's not just Florida. Vitamin D deficiency is fairly common throughout the entire United States. And most patients have no symptoms at all. If there are symptoms, early symptoms may include severe back pain, muscle weakness, depression, or loss of height. So if there are so few people who exhibit symptoms, how do you know if you are deficient in vitamin D? Checking your blood levels is the best way to determine whether or not you are vitamin D deficient. One of the problems with vitamin D is the reference range, which is between 30 and 100. This is a very wide range. While some physicians are happy to see their patients even in the lowest part of the reference range, as an age management physician, I don't want my patients to be in the lowest part of the range. I would like my patient to be in the 50 or 70 range. Some physicians are even touting 60 to 80 range as being ideal. Therefore, we may start you on a dose as high as 5,000 units daily, and then I will adjust your dosing back down to 2,000 and keep you in that optimal range. Along with my staff at Optimal Health Miami, I will continually follow your blood levels to make sure you are responding to the supplement properly and then help you to maintain levels of vitamin D that are optimal for you.